everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this month's challenge. Guess what we're doing? We are going to carve some stamps. Now, um, you don't have to do the, if you don't have the carving stuff, you don't have to do it this way. You can always make your own stamps by putting pieces of felt or cut out pieces of cardboard on top of another piece of cardboard and use that as a stamp. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to play, I have a bunch of these erasers um, that I bought God knows how long ago. They're just a pink eraser. Um, I also had some of the big ones that said um, my mistake or whatever. And those are all cut up. See, it's all cut up. I don't know what I was doing with them. I was just cutting them. I said big, big mistake on it. So anyways, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to play around with making my own stamps. And that broke. if you decide to do this, just be careful you don't cut yourself. These are the erasers that I'm using. This is a um, carving set by Inkadu. I bought this at Michael's quite a while ago. I also have the Speedball. This is also the same thing, a type of a carving set. And this has um, a bunch of different ends to it. So you can make them small or big or um, deep or whatever. So what I'm going to do... You know what, I'm going to keep this one on here. Uh, what I plan on doing is just making a bunch of stamps and then playing around with them and see what happens. Now, I am not an expert at this by any way, shape, or form. I am just playing. I want to see what I can get, what I can come up with, what kind of marks I can make. This is just going to be little lines, I hope. And then what you do is you just take a little stamp pad. And I've got a bunch of tags sitting over here. Actually, I'll take a blank one. Just a blank tag. Now I'm going to see what it looks like. And all I did was put three little lines in it. Look at that. Okay. How cute is that? Just three little lines. Bam. Instant stamp. Tiny. Cool. Right? Okay. So let's do a different one. This one I want to do, let me think. And these are just organic. What I like about these is exactly that. These are organic. They don't, um, they're not the same as anybody else's. Nobody else is going to have one exactly like this because these are all hand done, which I think is so cool. So let's see. I want to do a... Let's do this. Alright, we're going to take that. Take that out. You know what? I want to do this again. So, I would really love to see you just take your time. Um, like I said, you can get... Um, just erasers at the dollar store and just carve some generic stamps for yourself. Why not? Okay, then I'm going to put this one here. And be careful you don't cut yourself. And then I'm going to do this here, this here. And I'm not making these real deep, I'm not pushing really hard. It's very, um, just light, just enough to take off a little bit of that top to give it a little indent. They don't have to be really deep. Okay. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to finish going on it. So this is going to be the whole stamp. All right, 
See that? Which is very simple. Now, I don't think this one is deep enough, so I'm just going to go a little bit deeper there. And a little bit deeper coming out. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Got the same tag here. Okay, this again, this was just part of a big eraser. And these things really cut like butter, so they're very simple to do. All right, let's, wow, boy, that stamp is juicy. Make sure we get ink on everything. And I can see a couple spots where I'm going to have to go in and redo. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, now I see a couple spots in here. I'm just going to get ink off the middle of it. What I want to do is I want to take this, make it a little bit deeper. This a little bit deeper. That one's okay, that one's okay. Deeper. Okay, not sure what happened on that, but it looks like a little bit's been cut off, which is fine. All right, let's try it again. Wow, that, that this this ink pad is just like way over inked. Probably me. How cool is that? There we go, another ink, another little stamp. Love it! Now I gotta find a bucket to put these little stamps in. All right, let me see if I can fix this ink pad. I know it's it's um really runny in spots. See if I can get the whole ink pad to. Oops, get back here, you. Alright. See what we do. Okay, let's do another one. I've been wanting to do this. I know here a while back, uh, Julie Fanfell Balzar, I can't, I think that's how you say her name. Um, she was doing some carved stamps, and I just thought they were so cool. And I was like, yeah, I gotta try that. So, this one is long, but let's, we're gonna try something. I just want little bitty lines. Let's try little bitty lines. Ouch. And don't cut yourself. I'm just gonna do this. Let's see what it does. No, I can't wait to get these dang nails up, these nails redone. That's kind of cool. Right? Kind of neat. And again, it's just a bit little stamp. I like it. All right, so there's three different stamps. And what they take? A whole three minutes? There's three different stamps. Now, let's do something without lines. Let's try... Let's try something different. Let's take a square piece. And let's see. Let's do this. And let's do this. Gonna be kind of like a sun. And let's see what happens. So I just did a round circle right here. Make it a little bit deeper. All right. We just did a round circle with some lines out, and let's see if we can make that into a sun somehow. So let's go one, 
two, three, four. Haha, <laughs> that's really cool. I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. My stamping is a little bit off, as you can tell, but that's okay. Let's try. All right, let's. I don't want to get really fancy on these because fancy is not my name. So, we're going to try another one. Let's see. Let's do. We're just going to do little tiny circles. And all I'm doing is holding this down and um, spinning it. Holding that in and spinning the piece of eraser so that there's little holes. And let's see what it ends up looking like. do these ones that I did. Just make them a little bit deeper. Hole. Let's see what happens. We just have little holes here, right? Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that one. This is garbage. Let's see, what can we do with this one? Let's make this one a big teardrop. Let's take off this piece and make it kind of. All right, so that's going to be, let's make it. See what it looks like. Huh. Almost looks like a mouth. It's like an organic pod. I like that. But what I want to do is I want to take away some of this black here. And that's the greatest thing about making your own stamps is when you if there's something you don't like, you just cut it away. Okay, I want to take that out. That I'm going to leave there. That I'm going to leave there. So let's try it again with just the pieces that I want there. Look at that. I like it. Wasn't that cool? Alright, so there's another one. So basically what your challenge is this month I want to see what stamps you can make. Um, don't be shy about it. Don't, uh, you know, oh, I can't do this. These are not that expensive. I think these are like 10 bucks, and they're made by Speedball. And this thing actually is supposed to hold the ends. The other ends go in the bottom of this. Not sure why they weren't in there, but they are now. Um, so they stay together. But, like I said, grab some erasers from the dollar store. Oh, what I wanted to try. I bought a piece of this. This is the Speedball Speedy Carve. And I bought a piece of it. This stuff is not cheap. Um, honestly, I have more fun with the erasers. But let's see what we can do with this one. If I can get the plastic off it. Come on. Alright, I just cut a piece off the end. And let's see what we can do with this. Um, I'm going to cut it down some more because I don't want real big pieces. 
All right, let's make, let's do a flower. I'm going to start with a circle in the middle. And then here's a petal. Um, I just want to see if this, and here's a petal. If this carves any easier or harder or, um, Then the erasers. Let's do another petal. Whoa, that's a big petal. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be an organic flower, that's for sure. <laughs> Oops. See, it's definitely going to be an organic flower. Nobody's going to have a flower like my flower. <laughs> Let me take this and just go like this. This is just fun, isn't it? I love doing stuff like this. Seeing what I can make on my own. I'm not saying that I won't ever buy more stamps because I love stamps, but hey, why not? Let's try it. Now, I'm not going to want all of this, I can tell you that. So but first we're going to stamp it, see what it looks like. Let's use the backing off that speedball stuff. Let me get it all out here. And let's see what she looks like. She's cute, but we now have way too much of the black. So, I'm taking away, actually what I can do, I can just cut that black off. This stuff, um, honestly, it cuts a little bit easier than the eraser, uh, but for the price of it, no. I definitely would just continue with uh, using erasers. All right, I want to see what that looks like. Now what I can do is I can take this and I can glue it to onto a um, piece of cardboard just to give it a little bit more oomph as far as the stamp. Um, like this. Okay. so much of that. Isn't this fun? I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a good time. Yay! And I have my own flower stamp. Alright, so there you go guys. There's your challenge for this month. Let's see what you can come up with in stamps. Um, you do not have to carve them. You can, like I said, you can use foam, you can use pieces of cardboard, whatever you want to use. I would love to see what you create. Oh, here's the other one. And here's the stamps. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. We'll talk to you soon. Bye! 
everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.